Hey everybody, welcome back to another Conductor video. Today we're taking a look at a future add-on that's coming to Conductor, and that's a NinjaForms add-on. When NinjaForms releases their uh, latest version, 3.0, uh, we'll have this add-on readily available for Conductor. If you are a developer holder or a developer license holder and you want to get this add-on, just ping us and we'll send it over uh, your way. So as you can see here, this is the Ninja, some, uh, just a handful of uh, NinjaForm submissions that I have on the site, and I'll show you that it updates uh, live in action. So I'm gonna click on the NinjaForm contact page. I'm gonna say Lucy Smith, Lucy at slocumstudio.com. This is a test from Lucy. And then we're gonna go ahead and submit this. This is gonna submit immediately and then be in our database. We're gonna click on over to the Ninja results page, and you'll see that there it is, Lucy Smith, um, with our message and our uh, information that we filled out in the form. Again, it'll display any forms that any form fields that we select in the conductor widget. You can click on this and sort of sort it. Uh, if there's number data, it'll sort all that stuff uh, in ascending or descending order. So how do we set that up with conductor? So we're just gonna go right here uh, to conduct this page. We're already logged into our site, of course. We're gonna pull up the WordPress customizer. You can see here that this page is already conducted. It's a little indication. I'm gonna click on the edit button to quickly pull up the widget. You can see here it says select many uh, from the Ninja form submissions and we'll select the form. We only have one on the site's contact form and we're going to head on over to the display section and I have tables selected. And what I've done is I've hidden off uh, sort of all this other sort of core WordPress metadata and I've added in the uh, form fields that we have for this particular form. So let's just get rid of the word or the field message. Give that a second to update. I'm actually gonna hit save and publish. And of course, as you can see, because we're in the customizer, this stuff updates on the fly. But in the Ninja form, or excuse me, in the custom field section, we just search for Ninja forms. We see that the contact form uh, label here indicates that this is the uh, contact form. Uh, it's set up in Ninja forms. And then this is the message field. So we're gonna click on that and drop it in. And there it is, it just drops right back in. That's how you add individual fields from your form. And if you actually wanted to change the label, you could do something like comment. And this doesn't actually change the label in your form field, but it does change it here on the display, which uh, we find super useful. And again, just like everything else in the conductor, you can rearrange this stuff. You can drag and drop uh, and put that in here, just like that, and put the comments on the in the beginning, okay? Uh, also, just a couple quick uh, other advanced f settings uh, for the, the table field. Uh, you can display headings and you can allow the sorting. So if you didn't want the sort to happen, you can uncheck that. So when people uh, double click on the, the header, it'll sort or won't sort depending on what you have selected. And then display headings. If you don't want those headings at all, you can just hide those and it'll just display it in a raw um, table under the table display. Because Conductor is all about displaying data, you can always switch this to uh, another standard custom display of columns with conductor and you can do something like two columns if you wish which drops it there uh, three columns which will put them all side by side and you can sort of play with the different um, displays that we have with conductor but this time you're doing it with your uh, ninja forms content it's pretty amazing stuff uh, look for it in the future as soon as ninja forms releases version three we'll have this stuff available for conductor thanks for watching if you want more information on Conductor, it's conductorplugin.com. Thanks, everybody.